In this video, we're talking all about our bike systems in Bremerton and Kitsap County, whether it's on-road, off-road, commuter, recreational. We're gonna talk about all the ways to get around right now. What's up everybody, it's Cassandra Lopez with the Living in Bremerton channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and tap that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you're relocating to Bremerton, this is the place to be. This channel is all about living in Bremerton. So give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, let me know how I can support your relocation to Bremerton and share this video with a friend who you think would benefit. So Bremerton and the Pacific Northwest in general is known for its plethora of outdoor activities, year round, biking included. A lot of people decided to hop on a bike for more exercise or maybe to save money on their commute to work or maybe to reduce their carbon footprint or maybe a combination of the aforementioned. So it might surprise you to learn that the city of Bremerton and Kitsap County in general doesn't have a lot of bike friendly roads. And by that, I mean, there aren't a lot of designated bike lanes. Right now, bicycle commuters share the road with vehicles. The city of Bremerton and Kitsap County both have long-term plans to add more designated bike lanes to our roadways. But all of that is super dependent on a myriad of factors, such as the current road width and if they are even capable of expanding the road to add a bike lane. Um, a lot of times the property owners of the private property will kind of come into the street and maybe at least to the sidewalk a little bit. And so they would have to like sacrifice like three feet of the property owner's property on either side. And so property owners vote that down. And of course that's not going to happen. Um, also around here, we have a ton of waterways, like whether it's shoreline or creeks or rivers or streams. And a lot of those carry special setback requirements. And so if you get any closer to those, you know, you won't be able to improve upon that property or that land, adding a wider road or more bikeways. Um, a lot of uh, municipalities are waiting for the development of land. So, you know, projects coming down the road, like a housing development or, or what have you, any kind of improvement in which case they'll add a bike lane at that point when everything's already torn apart and under construction anyway when they put it back together they'll just add a bike lane but you know all of those projects they're staggered and they're slated and maybe a lot of them don't have timelines yet and so there's really no way to know when these bike lanes will become available if ever i've provided links for the city of bremerton and kitsap county planning um, departments the plans for the improvements on the bike lanes in the description below now if you're biking for recreation and you just want to take a day to bike around town or bike around the county or the shoreline or up to a different county or out to an island there are tons of designated routes that you can take that are already pre-planned and mapped out for you a lot of them are on roads, so you're gonna be sharing the roadway with vehicles and they transition to off-road and so you have kind of a combination of both. I've provided in the description a link to a site where you can access all of the bike routes. So if you're planning ahead or planning a trip or wanna take advantage of that opportunity, um, this is a great resource for you to be able to do that. And as always, there's probably an app for that. There's an app called Ride with GPS. And basically you can access any bike route anywhere in the country and you can filter by distance, location, elevation climb, on-road, off-road, a combination, all these factors so you can plan your trip well in advance and know what kind of gear you need to bring, know what kind of safety stuff or snacks or water, or anything, how long you're gonna be. Um, a lot of them have multiple ferry rides if you're taking a ferry out to an island, riding around the island and then back to the mainland, so you wanna plan for that. So a lot of cool stuff going on there for you to take advantage of. And that's a good segue into my next point, which is if you're going to share the roadway with other vehicles, it's probably important to know 
which areas have road closures or road construction or delays. And so I've provided a link in the description for a county site which offers current projects going on. So road closures and delays and detours. In addition, they also send out emergency information. So if there's a tree down blocking a roadway or maybe a vehicle accident blocking a roadway where they have to shut the road down, they will provide uh, real-time information on that as well. And you can actually sign up for uh, periodic alerts. I get an email, I think once every Friday, which shows me um, these are the roads that are gonna be closed for the weekend. And although I don't ride my bike on the roadways very often, it's helpful if you're just driving in a car too, because I do a lot of showings on the weekends. And so it's helpful for me to know if I need to do a detour or plan my route out accordingly. So I've provided the link uh, in the description for that super helpful resource. And if you're new to the area and and you're looking for a good bicycle shop or bicycle repair shop, I've listed several in the description that are all locally owned small businesses. They do sales, they do repairs, they have equipment, they have parts, all that stuff. And so um, you can find one that is close to you that you can make your new favorite and um, help out a small business while you're at it. So if you like that video, give me a thumbs up. Tap that little bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Share this one with a friend. Be sure to reach out to me, call, text, or email if there's anything I can do to support your relocation to Bremerton. Bye for now.